Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Mandela's playing cards from Damien O'Brien and the United States Playing Card Company. Uh, this is a really cool uh, deck, both for Magic and for Flourishing. Uh, you want to check out the trailer, this is it. All right, so that was Damien O'Brien. And if you don't know who Damien O'Brien is, he is the star of BBC Three's Killer Magic. He is also a member of The 52. All right, so these cards are inspired after the Mandela pattern, uh, the Mandela design, which is really this design right there on the tuck case. Uh, the Mandela's primary design is a symbol of spirituality, balance, beauty, which this all uh, inspired Damien to include uh, this on his deck. Plus, combined with his love for tattoo art and uh, just masterfully blending these two different styles together, it will obviously carry different meanings from one observer to the next. The tuck case is all done in this kind of gloss black. Uh, you can see just wrapped around, there's really nothing on it. It's very minimalistic. Uh, you get a little bit of ad copy there at the bottom, and it simply says Mandela's at the top. You have the two Mandela designs on the back, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company on a thin B stock. Now, a lot of people always ask how these cards feel, how they handle, uh, and really what I can do is measure them with a caliper and give you my best estimate uh, as to how they might feel compared to other decks that you might own or have previously handled. So what I do is I take 10 cards. 10 cards is my standard, and I put that into a caliper, and I measure that out, and so these cards uh, come to 2.82 which is, like I said, it's a thin B-stock. Um, they're gonna be on par with some of the knock decks, uh, the red bar deck or the spring deck maybe that you picked up, uh, Sons of Liberty that Dan and Dave put out, uh, and the auto bike back reprint. The back design is a giant field of black with a thin white poker border, and then you have the two uh, repeating patterns, images of the mandala at the top and the bottom. With this deck, you're gonna get two gaff cards. You're gonna get a double backer and a blank face, which are great for magic tricks. With this deck, you'll also get two original Jokers. It's a tattoo needle uh, with the words Joker in the corner. One of these Jokers, if you look real closely, has a card reveal. Your Mandela Ace of Spades is a beautiful image. It's a really big exploded uh, design there in the center uh, using various uh, like tattoo imagery uh, to make this spade icon. And underneath that, it says Mandela's by Damien O'Brien. Your pips and indice cards are going to be completely standard and instantly recognizable. Uh, the black cards will be completely normal. I think the red cards have a more muted look to them. It's a much deeper shade of red. Your court cards are all going to be unique to this deck. The kings, jacks, and the queen of clubs are all various members of the 52, and Damien's in there somewhere. And then the other queens are members of Damien's family. All right, so that is my review of The Mandalas from Damien O'Brien and the United States Playing Card Company. As always, I want to thank rareplayingcards.com for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to pick up this deck or any of your other favorites, you can always find them at rareplayingcards.com. Thanks. Bye.